बिसमीम टी स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट पी के टी स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ योर केमिस्ट्री क्लास एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग एल्कीस एंड इन एल्कीस वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रिएक्शंस ऑफ एल्कीस स्पेशली द एडिशन रिएक्शंस सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट द एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन और हाइड्रोजनेशन नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन हेलाइट्स हाइड्रोजन हेलाइट्स मीन्स एच एक्स any halogen attached with hydrogen that can be hcl hbr etc now alkenes they react with hydrogen halides when the hydrogen halides are in dry and gaseous form and as a result the product will be alkyl halide now the reactivity the rate at which the hydrogen halides they react with alkenes is hi then hbr then hcl it shows that hydrogen iodide is more reactive as compared to hydrogen bromide and hydrogen bromide is more reactive as compared to hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride now let us see an example first of all we have here rch double bond ch2 plus this is a general reaction it will be r now hydrogen will be added to this with more number of hydrogen atoms and halogen will be given to the carbon with less number of hydrogen atoms it will become rch ch3 and x so this will be an alkyl halide this is the alkyl and this is halide now let us see with an example of ethene we will add hcl and uh, now what will happen now here this is symmetrical alkene so it can add to anywhere h3 c ch2 cl this will become ethyl chloride now this addition of hydrogen halide to an alkene it is basically covered in two steps the reaction is completed in two steps first the first step is the alkene accepts the proton from the hydrogen halide and forms the carbocation alkene will accept hydrogen from hydrogen halide and as a result we will obtain a carbocation a cation containing carbon atom now this carbocation at uh, sorry let me tell you the first step with the help of an example this is ethene now it will be attacked by any hydrogen halide what will happen that this carbon this carbon will attack hydrogen and as a result we can see this one is formed the hydrogen will be attacked by this carbon but it will be attached to the other carbon and this carbon will be left alone with a positive charge and x will be given out as a negative or anion now in the second step the carbocation now since they are charged species and opposite charges they will attract each other so carbocation will be added to halogen now let us see what will happen this positive charge carbon will attack he attack here and as a result 
we will obtain an alkyl halide now this is the case when the alkenes they are symmetrical now what happen in case of an asymmetrical alkenes for asymmetrical or unsymmetrical alkenes now the addition of hydrogen halide over an unsymmetrical alkene is governed by markovnikov's rule the markovnikov's rule states that in addition of an unsymmetrical reagent to an unsymmetrical alkene the negative part of the adding agent goes to that carbon constituting the double bond which has least number of hydrogen atoms i told you that already that the halogen will always go halogen will always go to that carbon with least number of hydrogen atom so markovnikov's rule also says the same that halogen will go to carbon with less number of hydrogen but the carbon should be involved in double bond let us say for example we will take an example here <coughs> now here we have an unsymmetrical alkene h3c ch ch2 hbr will be added as a result the book says that the product which will not be formed h3c ch2 ch2br this will not be formed what will happen is that the actual product will be h3c ch br ch3 this will be the actual product this will not be formed this will be formed now let us take another example which is mentioned in the books and i think it is very important this here we have ch3 now this is the carbon and it has no no hydrogen at all so as a result the bromine will be added to this carbon not this one and hydrogen will be added to this carbon now the product formed will be this ch3 this ch3 and this ch2 will also become a ch3 and the bromine will be added here so it will become 2 bromo 2 methyl propane which is the actual product okay so we studied that when hydrogen halides are added in alkenes they will form alkyl halide and as a result sorry and the process is completed in two steps first a carbocation is formed and the carbocation is formed by the attack of alkene on the hydrogen of hydrogen halide then hydrogen will be added to the alkene and the halogen atom will be left alone as a negative or anion in the second step the carbocation possessing the positive charge will be attracted to the halogen or the halide ion with the negative charge and they will combine together to form the desired product but this will happen in case of only the symmetrical alkenes in case of asymmetrical alkenes 
the alkenes follow the Markovnikov's rule that whenever you add an unsymmetrical compound or a reagent to an unsymmetrical alkene, the negative part of that reagent will go to the carbon which is involved in double bond formation and at the same time it will have the least number of hydrogen atoms. So this is all about the addition of hydrogen halides. In the next video we will be discussing about the reaction of alkenes with sulfuric acid and uh, further reactions will also be discussed from time to time. If you have any questions you can ask it uh, frankly in the comment section. Till then take care of yourself, keep studying and keep watching office.com.bk. Allah Hafiz.